welcome back to Creighton Art. Today I'm going to show you how I made this rabbit. I got this frame here at the Dollar Tree. It's a bunny rabbit wire wreath frame. I got this little jacket at the thrift store. It's 99 cents. I'm going to use that to cover this here. I got this hat. I can't remember where I got it. Probably at the thrift store. I'm going to use some of that pink fur from it. I got some fiber fill, some Mod Podge glossy, some white paint. I also have some of these are from a broom. I got some gray ones and some, I think they're dark gray, kind of like a black color. Paintbrush, a Sharpie marker, an X-Acto blade, a couple zip ties here, some scissors, some wire cutters. These are great wire cutters. And I got some black duct tape, some yarn. I ended up using some thinner yarn on this project. And I also got some rubber fingertips. And these are just some uh, styrofoam ball that I cut in half. I was going to use it for a different project, but I'm going to use it on this one. A little piece of pink material and a piece of styrofoam. You're also going to need just some ribbon that you like. And I did pick up that green hat from the Dollar Tree. And your glue gun and a poster, like a foam core board. So the first thing I did is I took the tag off. There's kind of a front side on this. It's kind of pump, like puffed up. Doesn't really matter because we're covering the whole thing. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this into three spots here. And then I'm going to take a piece of duct tape. And I'm just going to bend these ends in and then just tape them there. You could do whatever style you want. I kind of like this look here on this rabbit. And I'm just going to use some duct tape and tape it around. And then I'm going to fold up the bottom. If these come apart when you're doing this, just, just add more duct tape. It'll be fine. Just go around and around. So I like how I changed the shape of the face here. Then I'm going to take the ears. I'm going to cut in the center here. And I'm just going to turn them sideways. I want the ears to kind of go like, like sideways. So just bend them. If they come apart, just tape them up really good with some duct tape. And then I'm going to take duct tape and fold the ends over to each other. And just put some tape around there to hold it into place. Go ahead and do the other side. Super easy. So now I'm going to take a piece of this foam core board. I'm going to trace around it just for the head. And then we're going to do the ears too. So go ahead and trace around the head frame here. Just take your X-Acto blade and cut this out. It does not have to be perfect because you're going to cover this up anyways. So you're not really going to see it. But I want a back on here so when we uh, glue the fabric on, you have some place to glue it. So go ahead and cut that out. And then I'm going to take the ear part here and just lay it on my poster board or my foam core board and just draw around it with my marker. And then just take your X-Acto blade and cut this right out. And you're going to need two of those. So go ahead and cut two of those out. And then I'm going to take some duct tape and I'm going to tape that foam core board to the frame. So go ahead and tape that to your frame here. And then go ahead and tape on your ears. Go ahead and do that to both of your ears here. Okay, so now we're going to take some of the polyfill. And I'm just going to kind of fill in the face. And I tore it up in little pieces. So like little round kind of balls of it. And then I'm going to do the forehead and then the cheeks and then a little bit for the nose. And just put a little glue there and just push it in. Just to kind of hold it into place. Okay, so now I'm going to take the jacket and I'm going to cut out a large piece of the back here. So make sure it's big enough for your rabbit face here. So then I'm going to put a little glue right here at the chin and just push that and hold that into place. And then I'm going to fold it over to the top here. I'm going to cut in two slits here to go around the ear. So one on each side. You're just going to fold it up. 
and you're just going to glue this into place. And now we're going to, just to kind of look at it, figure out where I want to put the eyes. Now I'm going to take my zip ties and I'm going to poke a hole through the fabric to the back. And then I'm going to put the zip tie from the back to the front. And then I'm going to poke another hole next to that one, but not connecting to it. So separate. You're going to push the zip tie through the front to the back and then you're just going to pull it through and pull it tight. You could glue this here, but sometimes the, the glue comes apart. So I went ahead and used the zip ties on this one. So just make sure you a hole through the back to the front. Then you're going to go from the front to the back. And then you're just going to zip that right, zip tie that right into place. Before we start gluing, if you want to put some more fiber fill in here, this would be a great time to do that. So go ahead and take some duct tape and just tape down the ends of the zip ties. I didn't trim them really close because they get kind of pointy. So I left them long and then just going to tape them down. So here's my fiber fill. I'm going to add some more so you can make this as puffy as you want. And then I'm just going to start gluing this to the back. Kind of want to pull it, not super tight, but a little bit tight because you want to keep the form. Just going to go ahead and just cut and glue this all down. And that would be a good time to go ahead and add a an hanger before you um, glue on any more. And actually, if you wanted to put a zip tie through it on the back before you um, put his face on or put that material across the front, you could go ahead and add a hanger to the back of this. So I'm going to add some polyfill here to the inside of the ears. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper because I want to just kind of make a little stencil here of the ear. It doesn't have to be perfect. So just draw out the ear here, cut it out, and then you're going to take your extra fabric here and you want to make two of these, one for each ear, but you want to make it bigger than the actual ear. So I probably left a good inch and a half maybe or so around the ear. And then I'm going to fold it into place here and glue it. So we're going to go ahead and fold that around the side here. Make sure I like it and then I'm going to go ahead and cut out another one of these. So we need two of these, one for each ear. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So if you guys end up making one of these, I would love to see them. You can follow me on Facebook and I have a group out there or you can just follow my page and it's just called Crate and Art. So go out there and look me up and you can post your pictures or I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. You can follow me out there on that too. So when you post a picture of your rabbit, just put um, Crate and Art and I will get a notification and I go out there and see what you did. So I'm just folding this as I'm going here and I'm just making the ears and just kind of squeezing it, folding it together. Super easy. So you want to go ahead and do your other ear here. So you just want to put a little glue at the bottom, fold it over. I'm going to trim this up here. It's a little big. A little glue on one side, a little glue on the other side. 
add some glue and just fold it over first and then fold them over again. And just kind of put a little glue in there and just pinch them together. The good thing about hot glue is it really holds great on fabric. Now how cute is this? Now here's my pink fur. She's going to cut out a section of this for inside the ear. You guys could do whatever you want here. And I like mine with the fur going upward. So I like the long pieces going up. And I'm just kind of trimming it as I'm going. Go ahead and make one for the other side. But you could use any kind of fur if you want. You don't even have to make it furry. You could make it like plush, like the black part, that fleece. You could do that too. This would be really super cute if you did um, one of these in like a muslin and then you could paint it. Wouldn't that be fun? So go ahead and glue that onto both ears here. Just kind of pushing it inside and just kind of trimming it as I'm going along. And I think it's super cute. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, now this is how I made, I made a brown one of these in a couple years ago and it's so cute but this one I was going to do it the same way I did the face and then I decided no I don't like it so I ended up taking that back off you'll see here but you could do it that way too if you'd like but I would love to see you guys' versions of this this one's different because I did his ears totally different than I did the other one. The other one I just kind of bent them um, in a certain shape. And I also made a lop-eared rabbit too of this. I have to go out and check that one out. It's kind of a gray striped rabbit. But I like the different way I did the ears. So I've done three of these rabbits and they are so fun to create. So here I'm taking that extra black piece off, trying to figure out how I want this face to look. And I think I end up going and getting different yarn for his face. It's just like too thick. Now here's a foam. I'm going to put some teeth on him. So I just cut out a piece of this and just turn it into two teeth. And then I'm just going to paint them. So I like this look here. So here's my thinner yarn. I'm going to go ahead and glue the nose down here. Just use a little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the eyes in. It doesn't matter where those white dots go because I'm going to repaint these. Now here's my white yarn. Just put a little glue on the back side of the yarn and then just glue it into place. Go ahead and do the other side. And glue that piece. Just put some glue on there. Now, if you guys don't know exactly where you want to put it, grab a piece of chalk because the chalk will just blow right off. You can just wipe it right off. So if you're not sure where you want to put lines at or put the face on, you can always draw it on with chalk first. Now, here is my Apple Barrel matte finished white paint. And I'm just going to paint that foam and let that dry. Here's my eyelashes. And I'm just going to hot glue these into place here. Go ahead and do that to both of your eyes. I 
I don't know if I would have painted the eyeballs solid white first and not so much black, but I would love to see how you guys do your eyes. And now I'm just going to put this little piece on here for his mouth. And then I'm going to fill it in with some extra little pieces of yarn. Kind of tedious here. But I kind of like it when I put the teeth on, I just like it better with the yarn there. Okay, so now we're going to work on the whiskers. And these are the ends to a broom I got at the Dollar Tree. And I have like black or really dark gray ones and then kind of like a silver or a light gray. So I'm just going to kind of do black and silver in here just to give a little variety. So I'm just going to poke them in, put a little glue on the end of the of the little thing and or actually you could put it on the fabric too and then just squeeze the fabric kind of around it and hold it there till it dries. If you get a little extra glue I snip it off with my scissors. You could also take like a sharpie marker to where your glue is and touch it up or black paint so you don't see the glue. Or you could trim it off with your scissors like I do sometimes. So just keep adding as much whiskers as you want. And just hold it there until the glue dries. I just added a couple up by the eyebrow for his eyebrows. Here's my brown paint. I'm just going to draw on little eyes here. You could paint these before you put them on too if you'd like. And then I'm going to take some white paint. You're going to see here I got it in his eyelashes. But I'm going to fix that. I'll show you how I fix that here. So let's go ahead and draw that on with the white. I'm going to change the spots. I'm going to take my black and just cover up that white spot there. Here's where I'm going to touch up the eyelashes, but still a little wet so I'm gonna take my hair dryer and dry these and then just touch up those eyelashes where I touched it with the white paint now how cute is this now here's my teeth and I, I'm going to trim these down because they need a little bit of an angle because the way the face, the way the mouth is shaped. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto blade and just trim on this little tooth here. It's just need a little angle cut off. So let's do like that and do that on the other side. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and just stick that right on. And I think it turned out cute. See me take my black paint, just touch that up. I got white paint on there. Now I'm going to take this Mod Podge and it's the glossy. And I'm just going to paint over the eyeballs. Now these eyes are nice and dry before you use your Mod Podge. And I'm just going to make it. Put a layer of this on here, a nice thick layer. And I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm going to dry these real quick. So 
they're not completely dry, but I got them pretty, pretty, pretty good. Here's my ribbon. And with the ribbon, I'm going to do three layers. And I'm just going to kind of make two loops with it and then just tie them together. Kind of like shoelaces, if you were to take two loops. And I'll just wrap them around each other. So I just bunch it up. I just make two loops and I just tie it around each other. And then I just twist them and get them how I want them. And then I'll pull it nice and tight. And I'll trim up the ends. So you could do whatever you want here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of like a little tab on the back so I can glue it to the back of the rabbit. So just put a little tab here. And I'll just glue them on. I did it this way in case down the road I want to change it. And I'm like, I don't want green anymore. I want a different color. I can just take this off. Instead of gluing it all up on the bottom of the rabbit. So you can interchange it. Now I'm taking an extra piece of black fabric here. And I'm covering up the back. Again, if you want to add a ribbon or something to make a holder, you need to put that on before you put all the black fabric on the front, go ahead and poke a hole through there and run a zip tie through. Now here's the hat I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna cut it in half. And when I put this on my rabbit, I'm not gonna glue it on him. I am just going to just push it on him. But if you want to add a piece of elastic to the inside with some hot glue, you could elastic it around him. Now here I'm going to cut a little, little um, groove right here. So right at the top of the black. And I re-glued the black little trim back down on it with some hot glue. And this rabbit was a little thick. I ended up trimming it down one more time. And I think he's going to be adorable on my door for St. Patrick's Day. But you could change the hat out to like a sun hat. You could even use this at Halloween time if you wanted. But I think he's adorable like this. So go ahead and I'm just going to hot glue that black on there. I think he turned out awesome. Well, if you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.